Hey, what's up gamers? Zeekster here, and welcome to a new Let's Play I'll be doing, and as you can tell, I'm going to be doing Telltale's Tales from the Borderlands. <laughs> now, um, I really love the Borderlands series. I think they're hilarious. And, well, first, first thing, I'm going to turn on the freaking subtitles, because I have to do this take, like, twice, because I forgot to turn it on, so, um, wait. As they say, these changes apply, yes, I want the subtitles on, anyways. Um, yeah, I think the last episode came out a month or so ago, so I'm really excited to play this. I've been wanting to play this game for so long now, and I'm happy that I can actually play it now. So, let's get into it, and for those of you watching, I really appreciate the support, and I hope you all enjoy. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. All right, typical telltale. Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. <laughs> He ran the corporation Hyperia, and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less... Ah, uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real story. Spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Alright, is there gonna be a badass song for the intro? Cause they are really known for that. <clears throat> okay, so the first Borderlands I played was whenever the Handsome Jack collection came out, and it came out with um two and the prequel so I had a lot of fun playing those the only one I haven't played is one so I heard that you didn't really need to know the whole story to under that understand this game so hopefully that's true which I mean I know most of it so it shouldn't be too bad all right what is he doing looking he's looking for something Fiona, Fiona I guess Come on, we can work this out! Fiona? What, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? Oh, Rice? Riss? I don't know how to say his name. Call him Rice. What is happening right now? I ask the questions. Okay, then do you mind asking yourself what you're doing? Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look. Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. Okay then. I don't know, this guy kids is kidnapping me for some reason about whatever he wants to know about. 
I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the baddest guy of them all. Long. It must feel good I to find to be it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but uh but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. And psychos. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. My best, my best friend, actually. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Being an exec in Hyperion comes with expectations. Yeah, I figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. If I'm not puking up $500 in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Hey, hey, we made it, okay? We're in this together. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, people around here have short memories when it comes to that stuff. You, me, Yvette, we're gonna run this place. Yes, we are. All right, man, let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm a uh, sneer, I guess. Oh, that was awful. Mm. No, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Okay, I don't know what kind of face that was that he made, but... What? Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a son. Oh, it's that one guy. What? No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it's freaking Joe from Family Guy. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. Vasquez, the Hyperion nemesis. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North, why the handsome guy always gets the girl, and why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. I it's did not, not know that, but okay. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. Is that Henderson? You don't want to be that man. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically <laughs> make my point. 
Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Gary, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Okay, um... Well, okay, I guess, yeah, that is interesting. Uh, three years sucking up to the guy. Out the window. Yeah, yeah. Shall I rotate yeah, the no computer? Mm, fuck it, why not? No, just kidding, don't do it. Do you want the money or not? Because I... Oh, what is this? It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get. Oh, this is sweet. Remote access computer. Scan Henderson. I'm gonna scan him real quick. Okay, I did not. This. I did not know that Reese could do this. What a waste. Um, such a nice suit. It's a working deal. All right, let's scan Vasquez. Hugo Vasquez, Homo sapien, Demo Fin, 35, rock and roll, lock and load, ain't no thing. He's gonna say one of those here in a minute, I bet. Yeah, look, 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 are you going? Man, this is a pretty useful thing to have. Right graphic computer monitor, expensive high, currently being. Can I look at it? Oh, this is awesome. What is that? The vault key? Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be $10 million, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it! Ah, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were... So, um, rudely interrupted. Were you my promotion? We were talking... <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion? All right, your, uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice... Janitor. What? No. No, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. Uh, I'm just not going to say anything. Fuck you, Hugo. Oh, yeah, oh my god. Boss, Reese. I'm sorry, I did not mean to say this that. This is what I'm talking about when I said... I didn't think you would hear me. Humility. That was lesson number two. Don't make lesson number three. <laughs> about a number two. What? Don't make me crap on the floor and make you clean it up. You're dismissed, Reese. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. Damn, okay, when he punched Reese, I kind of felt that, to be honest. I don't know why, that was kind of weird. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Bob. 
They're finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. No, 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 they can't. Not yet, unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. It's not that bad yet. No, I'm not gonna kick it. Okay, I was not gonna kick it, so I would have had to clean it up, but you had to fuck up. Really? I already forgot your name. Money Man. I'm just gonna call you Money Man for now. For trash cleanup, because that is your job now to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something. I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. <laughs> Vasquez screwed me out of the promotion. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. Holy crap! So, does that mean you're not buying? Yvette. Okay, I gotta remember these characters' well, names. Just trying to lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, we have a friggin' vault key! What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. Damn. You are very useful, my friend. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was really impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone. Call me if you don't get killed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right? Hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look. It's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Please, Yvette. You want me to get stuck in the awful existence of being a janitor? Vasquez really screwed us, didn't he? Fine. But I'm still hungry. No problem. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? I mean, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected? Right? Look, it just gonna steal something uh, figure no no don't worry I've got a car in mind I wonder what he's talking about okay <laughs> anyways I'm gonna stop right there I'm I'm kind of enjoying this game not gonna lie I has the humor and everything it's pretty good not hasn't really gotten too interesting yet but I know get there but Anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this. If you're watching, I really appreciate the support. Um, but anyways, yeah, okay. Um, I guess uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.